Hey, it's your boy, Storm3. You already know. Coming straight at you with the latest news that you can use, videos, and live streams. Today we're going to talk about Mewtwo rating and about the latest wave of EX raid passes that come out for the 26th, which is this Monday coming up. We're going to talk about strategies. We're going to talk about how these things are actually generated. I think it's exactly how I told you guys that they've went back to the older way. If you do a sponsored gym raid, right, and it really helps if you do the two and three level raids as well. And I found out another thing. They're also taking into account the gym badge level that you currently are at the gym that you're doing these raids at. The higher ones, of course, are triggering the advanced Mewtwo passes more than other accounts. Um, now, some of the things that we've talked about is how to generate the passes. Now we're going to go on and move on to the next theories, which is theories and stuff for doing Mewtwo raids in general. Um, of course, we know that Mewtwo's weaknesses are dark, bug, and ghost. Okay, that goes without saying. One of the things I do want to talk about, though, is the perfect IV level on Mewtwo's. Okay, you got 2275 is the top perfect Mewtwo CP that you can get without a weather boost. Okay, now what you're looking for, though, is windy, foggy, and cloudy weather because Mewtwo's CP actually happens to be weather boosted when it's windy outside. The perfect uh, IV on a CP count is 2844. That's the magic number that you're looking for. That's the windy weather perfect IV Mewtwo combat power that you can get, period. Okay? Now, the rest of this, we'll, we'll go back into this a little bit about the dark bug and ghost types, okay? Um, Tyranitars, you already know, are beast mode against, against Mewtwo. If you have a gang of Tyranitars going against Mewtwo, which they recommend six people, a group of six, can take down a Mewtwo, okay? It needs to be six. Uh, if you have a group of Tyranitars with double dark moveset, including Bite and Crunch, you're good to go. Um, another thing that might be surprising to you guys might be Mewtwo's themselves if they have this move combination period Psycho Cut combined with Shadow Ball okay and of course Hound Dooms because they're dark you gotta have a double dark move set with them Snarl and Foul Play Gyaradoses this may be surprising to you but if they have the double dark set Bite and Crunch that is a very tough Pokemon to use against Mewtwo okay now this one comes out of left field nobody even you know thought about this one Dragonites and it has to have the double the double dragon set dragon tail and outrage okay and we already know that outrage is the bomb it's it's the number one charged attack that you can get for Dragonite I'll save all that theory and stuff to a later video as we do have community today coming up um, Gengars as long as it's dark and ghost. Sucker Punch and Shadow Ball. Scizor, which is a bug type. Furry Cutter and X Scissor. Okay? Shiftry, as long as it has the double dark moveset of Faint Attack and Foul Play. Crawdaunt, which is the core fish evolved. It has to have Snarl and Night Slash, another double dark set. The other bug that may be surprising to you guys is the Pincer. Pincers are beast mode against Mewtwo if they have, of course, Furry Cutter and X Scizor. Just like the other bug, bug type, Scizor. Okay? They are beast mode. Those are the only two bug types that I currently know of that are beast mode against Mewtwo. Now, I hope that this little dip into Mewtwo legendary and, and how to actually get said EX raid, pass, red pass, raid passes and what to do once you get them. Uh, as far as battling the Mewtwo, I hope you gained as much information from this as I enjoyed putting it out to you guys. As always, it's your boy, Storm3, baby. You already know. Beast. Like a boss.